Oh, do I have a good one for you guys this month? A few weeks ago, Short Shorts and I headed over to Mad River to ride with a few of the Ridge Runners, the club that maintains the trails. Matt knows Mad River better than just about anybody and wound up leading us on an epic 60 mile ride that checked all the single track boxes. But almost before we even got started, at around six mile mark, Short Shorts decided to. Oh! 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 Fuck! And because he's a soulless ginger maniac, he thought, screw it, and soldiered on. I'll let you decide if you made the right choice. Enjoy. Now, these are all trails I've never done before up here. By the looks of it, <laughs> they're going to be pretty fun. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to our Patreon supporter of the week, Doug Bourne. Everyone, be like Doug and yeah. head over to Patreon. Woo! You'll find an extended version of this video and a whole lot of extra content. Now, unfortunately, the Ridge Runners weren't the ones who cleared this particular trail. Whoever did left dozens of booby traps like this hiding in the underbrush. What did I just hear? Kind of cheating too because I'm looking at Matt's rear fender. And I can tell where all the bumps are at for the most part. Matt said he's cleared like over a hundred logs this week. Right on. What do you think? Ooh, stuck my foot. It's gonna be a hundred today. Whew, it's gonna be dusty as fuck. Fuck, this is narrow. Super narrow, you guys. Not a fan, not a fan of that shit. Whew. Get your bottles just talking. Randomly jumping stuff when you've never been down a trail, you have no idea what you're gonna land on. It's like a flying off the trail on that sometimes. And like, oh, I'm just gonna fly down that bend. Be fun. Flying off that edge. Yeah, too far down. Ping pong off a bunch of trees. I'm like hitting neutral. And you probably can't hear a word I'm saying, but whatever, I'm gonna keep talking. Hitting the branch real quick. Now, this first trail was a wee bit overgrown. Bushes like these were everywhere, cropped out over the trail so you couldn't see what was coming. Got these bushes sticking out, Jesus, and you can't see what's on the other side. Yeah, maybe don't look back. Yeah, there are down trees everywhere. Ouch. Damn. Fucking branch. <laughs> Go flying down that shit. There's the other guys. Alright, we're good. Make 
sure everybody's with us. Nothing like that 450 power. Okay. Fucking ow. Lucky for me, I don't ride half as fast as shorts. Otherwise, I would have likely broke my foot as well. Oh, man, yeah. Okay. You think he broke it? I don't know. No. No. No, he said there's not much more of this overgrown shit, which is good, because fuck that hurt. Shorts did the same thing. But that did not feel good. Riding boots and helmets are the two most important pieces of protective gear you can wear when you go to a sport. For sure, I see kids with tennis shoes on and shit. I would have broken my foot right there if I didn't have my boots on. Shortly after this ride, Matt posted a pic of Short Short's foot up on Facebook with the message, if you're going to clear logs on these trails, please clear them correctly, i.e. cut them back at least three feet on either side of the trail. Seems like common sense, but nowadays common sense is about as common as Joe Biden having a coherent thought. On, there were more than a few internet badasses who scoffed at the three foot rule. This fella here said, Perhaps the most Biden comment, uh, I mean retarded comment, perhaps the dumbest comments go to the folks, and there were more than one who insisted we need to make these trails as narrow and dangerous as possible in order to keep quads off them. Let me point out the obvious. You could cut these fallen trees back 30 feet and there still ain't a quadster alive that's gonna dare ride these trails. Unless you're on two wheels, you ain't riding this single track. To make matters worse, here in the Pacific Northwest, we have an abundance of vegetation 
thick roast to swallow everything, which means it swallows up your stubby, poorly cut logs along with everything else, making it invisible to the rider. Branches and stuff going by my foot. Now, I understand some of you guys online are invincible enduro gods who never make mistakes, but if you're deliberately cutting trees to make trails more dangerous, you're no different than the asshole that strings wire across a trail at neck height. Basically, what I'm saying is, get f But hey, I'm just one goat. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. We play a little drinking game. Get your banquets ready. Every time Shorts talks about his foot, we drink. If you're still standing by the end of this video, you drink too much. It's been a while since I broke a bone. I'm really hoping my foot isn't broken. There's uh, what, 26 bones in your foot or your hand or something like that. Didn't break anything. There we go. That's the mentality for the day. Nothing happened. You're fine. Don't hit it again. Hold on now. Hold on. So I took a muscle relaxer on our little brake there. We'll uh, see how that works or if it helps at all. You never know. Hey kids, Dr. Tippy here. So, a muscle relaxer will relax your muscles. It won't do shit for a broken or sprained foot. For the most part, my foot is a little numb. Which is not good, because that's generally a broken bone. I'm just gonna be in denial about it today. Man, walk it off. Rub some dirt in it. It'll be good. Isn't it? Yeah. He's real good. Yeah, drink. <laughs>
detour real quick. What? I thought he's like out running a bear or something. I just uh, lost my grip a little bit. Sure Andre's a little confused. bikes having issues, people running out of water, and uh, of course the dust was just brutal. That many people. It's really hard for me to shift. Redhead will stop in the shade. Uh, I don't want to jump stuff. My foot can't handle it. I'm pretty much just trying to stay in second gear so I don't want to shift.
but then you brought it. out so far and this is a 20 mile loop I think we're gonna have a lot more to cut out okay <laughs> bro We ended up cutting half a dozen trees, and by we, I mean John cut half a dozen trees. And each one cut three feet back off the trail. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Boom. Uh huh. had some serious flow. Unfortunately, they weren't exactly as serious.
Definitely killer. stop views guys pose for a picture or what? Nobody saw it, so it didn't happen, Andre. I'm gonna tweak my bars back. Yeah. There you go. You quick, there we go. Really, really weird in 
my boot now because it got tweaked off to the side. I don't know I didn't have the recording. You hear all sorts of obscenities coming out of my mouth. Because, ah, uh, oh, no, ho, ho, I lifted my foot up for that one, you bastard. Ah. Oh. Might be able to make it. Eventually made it down the mountain and decided to give Shorts a break and take the road back the last couple miles. All in all, this was an awesome ride aside from, you know, my boy breaking his foot and all. And I can't wait to go back and do it again real soon. Oh yeah. In the meantime, if you're riding up here, please do us all a favor and cut that shit back. Nothing like that 450 power.